Hey guys, welcome to Kennedy K. Today guys, if you don't know, I'm Prego, and I'm 30 weeks today. 30 weeks! Ah, so fun, so excited. I can't believe I'm already in my 30s now. Just, I'm happy. Anyway, okay, because I'm 30 weeks and I'm just thinking about it all day, I decided I wanna do some nesting. Because let me tell you guys, we had our baby shower and we got a bunch of stuff and we're like, we're starting to pile up on all of our baby stuff, but I haven't really put it anywhere. I've just been putting it in this closet and it looks up pretty scary. And so before I show you how bad it is in there, I want to thank Homoglow for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what Homoglow is, it's, it's a cleaning service. It's a five star cleaning service and it's literally the absolute best. They came into my apartment, helped me deep clean everything. They helped me deep clean the bathrooms. They helped deep clean all the house for me because it's been a little tricky getting bending down and all the fumes and everything else has been kind of tricky at home to clean. So it's been really nice to have Home Glow come and help me. So one thing I do love about Home Glow is it's super affordable, which is the best, especially when you're expecting a baby coming up and there's a lot of expenses. It's nice to be able to have something that's affordable to come help you um, take care a little bit better of your house. Also, I love that it's super easy to book. So I just go online and I can just click find a cleaner and I can book a time and schedule that works for both of us and it's just super easy and quick. It's also so nice because I can look at the cleaner and I can see photos of, of their past work and it's nice to be able to kind of get to know the person that's gonna come and help you clean your house because it's literally, oh, it was just so nice to be able to have someone that was so sweet, so kind of being able to help me and cleaning our deep cleaning our bathrooms, deep cleaning all of our kitchen. She literally was the sweetest. Before I show you guys the closet, like I just said, I just kind of want to show you guys how great Homo Glow was. And I'm gonna show you how beautiful our house looks right now. I'm so grateful, so happy. And now it just makes me want to nest with my little baby stuff and get ready for this sweet little baby to come. So here's a little sneak peek of what my house looks like now, all beautiful and done up and clean. I'll explain a little bit more of Homo Glow. With Home Glow, you can sign up for their Forever Clean membership, which saves you $30 an hour on all future cleanings. And also, you can book unlimited cleaning starting at $19 an hour, backed up by Home Glow's happiness guarantee. with how beautiful our house is right now. I don't even want to move because I'm like, it's just so beautiful and clean, I love it. Anyway, I'm very, very grateful for Home Glow and I'm thankful that they were able to help me and help me prepare for this sweet little baby to come. So if you guys are interested in Home Glow, click the link right here to get three hours of cleaning for only $19. Ah, literally the best. All right, now let's go look at this closet. I don't know if you guys should see this. It's so bad. It's literally stuffed with things because I just don't know where to put anything. Either that we bought or that people have given us because they're so sweet. It's just, it's been crazy. So, let me show you. Ah, you can't even open it. Okay, there's diapers up there and hangers. We have bags and bags of just baby stuff. So we have, yeah, we have a few diapers up there. We also have books like little things either for baby, for the diaper changing table. I have a lot of stuff for the diaper changing table, so that's what we're gonna do. But there's tons of like, all these cute present stuff, mom stuff. It just can't be in here anymore. It's already, it keeps falling out and it's not good. So we're gonna bring it into the bedroom and we're gonna organize it and start putting our baby changing table together. And I'm gonna show you guys what I want to kinda do for the nurse, our bedroom nursery thing. Okay, 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 let's do it. Urge. Okay, before I start putting all that stuff away, I'm gonna kind of show you guys our bedroom and kind of what I'm thinking for all the prep or like where things are gonna go and you guys can give me advice on things too, whatever you think. 
But so we're not gonna have a nursery just because we're only gonna be living in this apartment for two more months after baby is born. So plus I'm gonna have baby sleeping in a bassinet anyway. So we decided that we're just gonna have everything in here. And to make things easier, I wanted the changing table in here just so I don't have to walk. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I wanted to have a baby changing table in here. So here's our room. So I sleep on this side, Chase sleeps on this side. I was gonna put in um, here, I was gonna put in just some like mom care stuff just in case I need it like on this side table or like in the bed right here. We'll kind of see. I can't really decide where I wanna put the bassinet because I feel like the cuter option for the bassinet would be over here by the window. And it's kind of like out of the way so, cause right here is kind of like a high traffic area. But I do want to have the bassinet right here for sleeping so then I can just like, if I ever am nervous, I can just like peek right in to get our, look at our baby and just not be stressed about it and not have to walk over here, which is not that far, but I heard that I'm gonna be really tired. So I'm gonna try to limit it. So I might put bassinet here just in the night and move it, cause our, it's pretty um, lightweight anyway if I wanted to do that. And then just in the daytime to have it there so it's not so in the way of everything. And I was thinking, so I think bassinet just kind of by the window right here by Chase. Also Chase can check on baby too if baby's right there, which is fine. This is another area. So this is where I was thinking having the changing table, I'll kind of move a few things, put like a changing mat and then have baby drawers right there. Right here, the question is, is do I want to put a chair, hi Bear, a rocking chair right here by the bassinet? I, Feel like I would want a rocking chair just because I heard that breastfeeding with a rocking chair is a lot easier and it's more comfortable for me. And th there's not, I've like been looking and there's not like super expensive ones. So I could easily just find like a cheap one and put it right there. Or should I just not even waste the money and wait two months? Cause then I'm gonna have to lug it. I don't want to lug it clear to Texas with me. But do I, what I want it in those two months. Does that make sense? I'm trying to decide. My mom recommended that she loved doing that as a, with a rocking chair. And so I'm, I'm thinking about doing it and just finding a cheap one so I don't have to bring it with me to Texas. But I don't know. I could put a chair there easily and then put Snoo here. That's the, that's the bassinet. We just got it guys. I'm like so excited for it. We got it on a Black Friday deal and it was like a lot cheaper than what it normally was. So we were like really, really happy. It's a, a Christmas present for Chase and I. We're hoping that it will help our baby sleep better. Cause that is something that's really, really important we want. Anyway, I'm thinking snoo here or bassinet here, maybe a chair here. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on that. And then I might just move snoo or bassinet, right? I'll just, I just might move the bassinet right here for sleeping sometimes for me. Cause I don't really want to switch sides of the bed. Like that is my side of the bed, not that side. But I don't love, I don't want to have the bassinet right there either by the bathroom. Cause I don't want, I don't know. Maybe I do. I don't know. Help me, help me figure that out. But that will be not until January that we have to figure that out. So right now we're going to put all this up. I'm going to show you guys what I have and so far, and then we can kind of start prepping and nesting and doing all the bamboo baby stuff because this is a great day to do it. Ah, 30 weeks. Okay, now let's start bringing stuff in. Guys, we got everything on the bed, some stuff on the side table. I kind of need to go through and look and see everything I got again. Guys, Kobe Bear is very, he's like, what is all this stuff, huh? What is all this stuff? All right, we're gonna go through, kind of separate either postpartum things, baby things, things I won't need for a little while. Let's do all that. Baby clothes before I put them on him. 
So I'm just gonna like make it all cute now and then right before we have him, I'll wash all of these bad boys. Oh, joke. Journey made this. It's a little bear hat with these little tiny booties. Isn't that so cute? She literally made it herself. Put those Okay, guys, we kind of laid some things out. So, first things first, lots and lots of blankets. So, there's tons of blankets here, and they're all so cute. I'm dying. Okay, so I have all these blankets. Then I have a few little different socks. I have these little booties right here. I have a few different hats. These are kind of split up in sizes. We have three to six months, one to three months, one to three months. And then there's some newborns in here and this one is a three to six month. We'll put that there. And then some newborns right here. And so I'm gonna kind of figure that out. We have a few little onesies too. I probably need to get more. This has actually been so nice because I can kind of see like, oh, I have this. Okay, I'm gonna need more of these. Okay, I have birth cloths. I have sleep sacks in here, and then some baby. I have two different baby ones, just in case one. We have a blowout and one. I have an extra, just in case, of these baby wraps. I have some bath stuff up here. We got some good stuff so far. Diapers, diaper changing table. These are six months and up clothes of different things, so we're gonna put that aside for right now. We have a bunch of cute little toys and fun things for him. Wipes, more health things. I'll probably need to figure out more of that, and then I have some binkies that I need to kind of, well obviously I'll clean all this and sanitize it. Cute little things to put your binkies on and even like this like little toothbrush thing. We got lots of good stuff. Oh, and I got a ton of stuff for postpartum things like these disposable underwear, love that. Some nursing bras and then I have just like a few different items that I saw that people recommend. And let me know if you guys like any other things when it comes to postpartum as well, because I have no idea. My mom is a great resource, but it's also nice to get some other things because maybe there's some things that she doesn't know and then we can learn from each other, so it's great. So, let's start putting all of this stuff away. Ah! All right guys, I opened up this drawer and forgot that I had some extra things. I have this little fan from the stroller, so that's gonna be kind of over there. We have another little outfit. It's gonna go probably, I think it's right there. And then this is like a postpartum little set that I wanna bring me to the hospital. So we're gonna put this with all the postpartum stuff. I'm really excited about these. It's like a labor gown and like a cute little matching blanket and hat for my baby. It's in like a pretty blue. I was like, that might be kind of fun to feel a little pretty while I'm giving labor. I feel like that might help me. And then I have this like organizing set. We'll see if it can help me organize a little bit. Help separate you some of baby's clothes. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, these are all of their little bottoms, I think. Lots of little bottoms, okay. Koi Bear will definitely try to eat those, so we're gonna put those away. These are so fun, I love organizing little sets. I can get more too if needed, but I thought I'd just start with one, see if I need more or not. Oh, I love this. So Satisfying. Oopsies. Boom. Okay, so first we have these two top drawers. Definitely one of them is gonna be for diapers, wipes, and probably all the health stuff, if we can fit it. So let's do that first and kind of see what we can fit. I just got out diapers and look how tiny they are. I'm gonna wait and open my newborn ones because I've heard that like, sometimes it's nice to have newborn because they have the cut in it, but these are the zero to three and, is that right? Anyway, I just heard that you can open these ones but you wanna wait to open the newborn just in case you have a really fat baby. So, which we love, we would love a little chunky baby, but I'm gonna open these right now, put them in here for right now and we'll see what it looks like. But they're so small, they're so cute. 
Oh my gosh, guys, this is already so fun and I just did one drawer. Now I'm gonna do the clothes drawer because I feel like that is a big chunk of stuff and I don't think we're gonna need it in this drawer. I don't know exactly what we're gonna need yet. I'm wondering if I'm gonna put like breastfeeding stuff in there. So if I do have a chair, I can put it there. We'll see, we'll see. But let's do clothes in this next drawer. To hang these up later we don't really have the hanging space so we're gonna kind of see how it goes So I was looking at the clothes and I look like I am a beige mom. But I definitely wanna have my kids have some cute colors too, but I definitely have a lot of beige neutral colors, which is kinda of funny. But we still have lots of time to get some more clothes, so don't worry guys. Okay, next we're going to be doing all of these like big fluffy blankets, muslin blankets, all of the, the good stuff. Alright guys, last but not least, we have this drawer. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna change a lot of things actually when we get all of our official baby stuff. Just trying to figure out exactly what will work best. But right now I'm just gonna put these um, baby wraps in there and um, some burp cloths, binkies, a few little toys. We'll see as we go along in this nesting journey. I'm like, kind of excited, this is fun. Last but not least, for the diaper changing table, we have this diaper changing pad. I'm gonna put onto the, what is it called? The dresser for right now, and it's um, movable, which I like, and then I also have a diaper caddy that's coming in a few days, which I'm excited about, so I can pack diapers in there and bring it around the house if I need, or the apartment, whatever is essential. Ooh. Because this has been like all wrapped up, it looks a little weird, but, we're gonna open up this little basket and it has a little changing pad. And then it has covers. It will have covers that are changeable. So, and they'll be plastic-ish so I can wipe them down if needed. Oh, I'm excited. Once it's kind of flattens out a little bit better, it will look really cute. So this is kind of what it kind of looks like. Obviously it will be a little more, less wrinkly once it kind of settles down. We're gonna have that and then I'll probably take these decorations down and have a few, I'll have like a lamp and a few little things of decoration, but mostly just baby essentials. Yee! Now my baby changing table is pretty much done for as done as it can be right now. I love it, I'm so excited to continue to just get all the baby stuff prepared so that we can just welcome our sweet little baby boy. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later, bye.